Greetings, Earthlings. Thank you guys for tuning in again for another Influxer Media podcast. We got an NCAA Division One men's basketball star. <laughs> La Hot. Why you hype me up like what this? What do you man? mean? <laughs> you hype what? me? You hype, you hype me up? Yeah, you you hype me up, up like, like that? What do you mean? Giant, this is Alex. Like, so, I mean, <laughs> you're getting excited. Like, this is I'm Alex. looking around this like Alex. This, this is Alex. This is Alex. This is Alex. There's a superstar out here. What are you talking oh, about? He's probably talking to you, huh? Nah, yeah, he's talking we're talking about. He's a superstar. We're talking about the man, all right? Um, you out here in the Bahamas? Yes, sir. How yep. we feeling out here in the Bahamas? It's amazing. That's my first time here, so yeah, it's been a good time. Been a good, good time. couple of days for sure. And mm -hmm. yesterday we had a really good game. We won the game, so tomorrow we play for a championship for sure. So, okay. Oh, cool. Uh, trying to go back to Orlando with the with the, the trophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. So yeah. Where Where are you from originally? I'm from Senegal, West Africa. Senegal. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now, I need to ask you, um, soccer, was that the first sport? Definitely, yeah. There you go. Now, now, how did, was it the growth that said I need to pick up a basketball or was that's it? A, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's part of it for sure because, uh, like, I mean, now it's getting big in Senegal, like, yeah. like basketball, but soccer is like, a, it's like the main Number sport. One. Right. Yeah. So, like, growing up, I played soccer, like, basically, like, everybody from Africa, mm -hmm. when they grow up, they play soccer. Mm -hmm. But at the... I start getting taller, you know, and I see people playing basketball. Like I didn't really want to play basketball, to be honest, because mm -hmm. I didn't know about it. Right. Mm -hmm. But it's just like one day people was just like telling me, "Yeah, you play basketball." They asked me if I play basketball or not, mm -hmm. and I didn't even play basketball. <laughs> right. So it's just like it's because you're oh, tall, yeah. Because I'm tall, so that's where it started, and it get to a point. I'm like, you know what? Let me just try because I had a friend who was playing basketball, but he was in the same class. Mm -hmm. But he was way shorter than me. Right. And he plays, and I didn't play. So it was just like, can you give it a try? So I tried. And the first day, mm -hmm. I, I loved it. Right. But the first day was just like, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just, just there. having fun. Yeah. And they put me like with a lot of girls. I was just playing with them. Every time I got a ball, I'd travel. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do, but I was there. <laughs> right. Yeah. So after that, after they got, after we got done practicing, uh, the 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 bigger the, the the older guys came in right. and they start playing. Mm. But the thing that I that I pick up was just like the way I seen like they was dunking, you know, mm. they was having some nice suits, like mm. uniform was nice. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna come back. Yeah. Uh, how so, old are you when yeah. this happened? Uh, 13. Okay. I started 13 and and I was there for a couple like back home. I started for like a couple months, and after that's when I went to to academy. Mm. Like basketball academy called Flying Star. Mm. It's in Senegal. So the guy, his name is uh, Mom, uh, Ibun, Ibun Yai. Mm -hmm. So he helped me, uh, you know, get into the academy and stuff like that. So that's how that's how I get to the U.S. Mm -hmm. So I was in the academy for for three years, and I came to the U.S. Uh, 2016. Yeah, like, when I was 16 too. So was was like <clears throat> moving to the United States. Was it? scary at all or like did, were you, was your goal to move to the united states to play basketball or like tell me about that i guess and it's just like so the funny the funny thing is so when i get to the academy i didn't know they helped kid come to the u.s mm -hmm. i did not know that mm -hmm. so i was there for a week and one day after practice there's this guy was coming to the u.s and he was just like telling everybody like goodbyes and stuff but right. i didn't know what, what was going on and I asked someone, I'm like, what's going on? Like, and they were telling me, you know, he, he got a scholarship, he's going to the US. I'm like, for mm. real? And, and he was like, yes. And I seemed like the way he was so happy about it, like coming to the US and get his education, you know, and, you know, help himself get a, you know, be a pro and also help, help his families and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. so when I seen that, I got me, like, I, I felt like I, I was the one coming to the US. Mm. And that was like my first week there. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, so I remember going back home and I was talking to one of my friends. I was telling him, bro, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm come, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the U S mm. so, it and it took me three years yeah. Yeah. being there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it will help me throughout the, throughout the days, the month, years. So, and I finally got a scholarship, came to the U S so right. it was, it was one of the best thing ever, but I got scared too. So coming to your questions, cause I remember when I first got my flight, like I missed my flight, but but it was kind of a mistake. But I thought like I was gonna come here. Like it was like a Wednesday, but I missed my flight mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But but that night, like my flight, I think it was like around 11, 12 at night. Mm -hmm. So I got scared because I didn't want to leave my family at mm -hmm. that night and go. Right. But I was so excited to go, but I didn't know what to like mm -hmm. expect or what to see because I'm coming to a different place, right. yeah. like different people, different language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
finally my flight missed. I missed my flight, so I had to spend two more days with my family. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. cool. So come to the US. So it was it was it was definitely everything was different. The language like I couldn't speak English at all. Like right. literally yeah. zero English. Yeah. Uh-huh. So it was it was kind of like a challenge, like a couple months of challenge, but yeah, I faced it and it was, you know, it was, it was good. Yeah. And so now, I mean, obviously you're experiencing more challenges, uh, probably never going to stop. But one of the craziest things to me is like, obviously you're in school, right? And then <laughs> you're a basketball player and I'm sure you got, you know, your free time and all that kind of stuff. How are you able to deal with all of that? Like, to me, it just seems like a lot. I, I can't even imagine being a student athlete. So, I mean, it is, it, it is a lot, but over time you get used to like the whole thing and it gets to time. Like you don't even feel like, like what you're doing. Because mm-hmm. the thing is, it's like, yeah, you're right. The days, your day is so like busy because you wake up, you go to practice. And if you got class, you go to class. And sometimes like the only time, like the only time you're going to have is just like, you know, around after 6 p.m. to be in your room, after 6 p.m. up. So at that time, it's just like you're going to be in your room for a couple of hours. And now it's like time to get sleep, mm-hmm. get ready for the next day and stuff. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's just like. It's just like when people like work nine to five, you know, mm. that's right. what they, they get used to that. Yeah. So it's just like, I feel like just like getting used to what you're doing. But mm. but in the beginning, yeah, it definitely like you got to get used to it. But after that, it's just like, I feel like just like kind of normal. Right. So, so Lahat, um, it is, I'm going to, I'm going to, it is very hard to ig- ignore your personality. Like you're just, all, you're like a vibrant, energetic mm-hmm. guy. Just even from the most that we met you, appreciate where it, appreciate does that? It come from was that just in the blood or was that someone that that showed you that that that, that ability to be yourself or, is, that? It, or is it even like a player is there a certain player in basketball that you were like i want to be like him nah, nah i ain't nah, no nah. you know player like okay person, yeah right, you learn right. you learn from a player by trying to get better mm. like out of what they do you mm-hmm. know because you're always going to get better out of the player and stuff like that but for me, who I am, mm-hmm. stay hot, man. There you go. <laughs> stay hot. What Come are we on, talking you, about? Gotta, you ain't got to call names. Be yourself. Be who you are. There you know, you people are going to love you because of who you are. Yeah. Love you know, that. you ain't trying to, you can't be switching up or trying to be someone you're not. I'm, I'm, I'm Lahat. I'm from Senegal. I'm mm-hmm. African. You know, I'm in the U.S. Mm-hmm. You know, I got my degrees. You know, I'm playing basketball at UCF. That's me. That's you know, I'm you. not, I'm will never change who I am. Mm-hmm. That's on anything, you know. I feel like. Me being who I am, get me all the way I'm 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 at right now. Right. Me being who I am, who, who am I? Mm-hmm. Go get me somewhere else further. So and I'm not gonna, you know, trying to change myself to anywhere to anybody. You know, I'm gonna be me mm-hmm. every single time. So and I feel like people love me of that. Right. So. So even even when you were younger, it's, no, it's, it's, it's hot, always been you know? that. Yeah. It's always been yeah, that. Even yeah, as a when, youngin, when did, when did the like stay hot brand? When did that yeah. start happening? <laughs> or did somebody where they're <laughs> oh, like, "Yo, that, stay hot"? Or did that's, you a, start, that's, that's the a, brand that's now. Brand. Some of y'all, the t-shirt and no, them hoodies, it. you know, the hoodie. Yeah, like, them hear. t-shirt, them hoodies are coming up. I'm telling you. So if you don't get one, you're missing out. We stay hot. Be in Bahamas. We out here staying hot. No, I was gonna say, have you like when did that happen? Like, did somebody say that to? You, did you nah, come nah. up with it? And nah. then what age was it? So was okay, it recently. So this, so the stay hot is just like okay. So la, it's la hot. It's stay is just like yeah, you know, la hot. So the it's meaning like the thing is just like so okay. Me coming to the U.S. or me when I was back home like didn't have anything. I mean I still don't really have nothing, but mm-hmm. I'm trying to figure it out, help myself, my family, and people right. around me. You know mm-hmm. the loved ones. So but the thing is just like when I was back home. First of all, like my not not like none of my families play any sport, like literally nothing. Right. So, me growing up and just like like picking up basketball and don't know, you know, yeah. don't, don't even know like where the basketball ideas or want to do it come from. It just happened. It's just like you know, it's it's for me. It was just like crazy to me. It's just like God tell you like, okay, you're gonna be in this situation in this position. Right to be who you're gonna be, mm-hmm. no matter where or what. So, so it was just like that. So when I when, when I started, I just fell in love with it mm-hmm. and I kept going, but I was in an environment like, it's not like like here in the US. That's not, it's not me like we don't have anything, but it's just like different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for me, like being there playing basketball for three years, you know, throughout, throughout ups and down injuries, all those things, you know, like it, the, the, the thing it reminded me is just like, makes, you know, always be yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you got it, keep going. You wake up tomorrow, you go. 
and you don't we didn't really have gyms like that we got like concrete outside mm -hmm. it's like 80 90 degrees outside you you're gonna go practice because mm -hmm. that's what we have you know what i'm saying and we appreciate that because that's the reason why we're here mm -hmm. by by went through what we went through right. back home in senegal mm -hmm. so so me be able to went through all that and and got a chance got a scholarship like like i'm at the i'm the first one in my family came to the like being in the u.s right now mm. and coming to the u.s too and i was like one of the youngest in my family too, right. to do that so for me like did that at a young age it was just like it was just like how like like how, how do i do it like right. i just did it but how yeah. i mean yeah i know how because i wake up every day and go to practice and i got people who tell me you know they're gonna help me out just make sure you do what you gotta do mm. with like the academia i was i was in the synagogue and you know end up coming to the U.S. But all those three years now, as soon as I came to the U.S., it felt like the three years were just like happening one day. It right. did not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of going back and forth, like like practicing home, bus, 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 walk, mm -hmm. you know? And and me uh, be able to do that and come to the U.S. now, it's just like, yeah, you got you here now. So what's next? Mm -hmm. You know, high school. Right. Struggles, you know? Because yeah. what I mean, struggle, you learn, trying to, understand the the, the, the English, mm -hmm. figure it out. People say something, you don't even know what they're saying. You go to yeah, class, you yeah, don't even know what they're saying. Figure mm -hmm. it out, yeah. Sometimes people are laughing at you, but they don't know, like, you're way smarter than you, they think you are, because mm -hmm. you just don't know the, the language. <laughs> right, 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 right. You feel right. me? Right, yeah. 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 Cause imagine, like, you put someone, like, in a different country, like, oh, yeah. tomorrow. Right. right. Like, let's say they take you to China tomorrow, and mm -hmm. you're trying to figure out the Chinese language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you that happened. I went to uh, Tokyo, Japan. Yeah. And right when I got I got there, I couldn't read a thing Thank at you. all. Mm -hmm. that was and just, yeah. I, I even expected when I went to like 7-Eleven and I just wanted to get a water or something, I thought they'd know the easiest words and they were so confused. Yeah. Wow. That's, I said like, please, and they're, what? I don't know what yeah, you're talking Yeah, it was about. like the same thing because yeah. when I first got here, the English was so, so quick, mm. like mm. fast, you know? Yeah. And... And you know, like going over time, you start picking it up a little bit, and now it reminds you about home, like when it was so hard, but you keep going it until mm. you get to the US. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I can do this. I'm gonna get through our high school, you know, learn, grow as a basketball player, and as a student too, you know, graduate in high school. When I did that, it was like a big thing to me and my families, because I'm the first one who done that, like in my family, you know, mm -hmm. and they're so happy about it too. Right. And also, it's just like part of like the way they raised me, you know. Like wherever you be in life, just make sure you be yourself and do what you gotta do. Mm. So the stay hot came out like, okay, I thought about it, but people start. I stayed a couple of times. People start calling calling me that, mm -hmm. but there's a lot to behind to it. What's behind to it is just like what I told you, mm. like how I started and how I get here, and when I was high school, how I get to college, and college how I get to where I'm like, and like when I went to Utah and now I'm in UCL, how I get to all these different places mm -hmm. by just like me like being myself and not trying to you know be someone else no matter how hard it is or how the situation is because you know it can be a lot of situation based on like the way like where you are or what you right. do you know what i'm saying yeah. mm. like it can be super hard or easy i mean it's not going to be always it's not going to be easy for sure mm. no matter mm. what you do in life mm. yeah so for me it's just like i'm here by myself with no families trying to figure out trying to help think about them trying to help like them out so right. it's, not, it's not only about like my family but it's all about like people the like community. the academy yeah the, like, yeah like the people around so it's just like that so i'm like i'm like i was thinking i'm like yeah yeah just be me like stay lahat yeah. stay hot. okay lahat, stay lahat. it's not it's not gonna be the same like stay stay hot yeah you know what i'm saying like yeah. me being me so it's just like so that was like kind of the, the story behind behind stay hard. Mm. So even though people say stay hard, stay hard, they don't really know what, know it, what really it means. Mean. Okay. It so, can be a nickname too. Yeah, yeah. I like that too. But at the same time, it's just like something behind. And also too, what I was about to say about the stay hard, like it can be for me, but it's not only for me. It can be all the little kids back, back in Africa mm -hmm. trying to just like get to where I'm at. Mm -hmm. like be yourself stay you right. you know what i'm saying right and then, i mean if you want to use this yeah stay hot like be you yourself you know what i'm saying and whatever you want to do in life by just being you and wake up every day and do it you're not going to be perfect at all right you're going to do a lot of mistakes but you know at the end of the day you you might be happy about what you 
about yourself at the end of the day, bro. right? That that was kind of my follow up question. Like, what's the future of Stay Hot? Because to me, <laughs> I think about a brand. The future. I think about, they talk I, about future. Out here, so. <laughs> I think I'm thinking like I'm thinking like an Instagram page. I'm thinking shirts. I'm yeah. thinking like give me a shirt ASAP. I, I, I think I think it's shirt. beautiful because, like you said, it, it it's a cool name already or a cool brand. And then also, the I don't know, just like uh, the message, the right message. behind yeah, yeah, yeah. it. So it's to me, I'm seeing huge picture. Like I'm seeing big picture. Here. Oh yeah, for sure. Right. Cause uh, you always gotta have dreams and stuff like that. No matter who, how, like whoever you see in life and how big they are now, like they didn't just jump and be who they are. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter what brand it is in life, you know, people might see something and just start laughing about it. But when it first started, it wasn't, you know, when it first started, That's like true. there was nothing there. No That's matter true. what brand you can call. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like everything have a foundation, like where how they started and stuff. Yeah. So now when you start something from the ground up, the people who first see it, they might they might be like, ah, mm -hmm. it's alright, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's cool, da -da -da, you know. But who cares? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you like. That's what you love. You you gotta do it. And now, what about what other people say? You got hundred people who don't like stuff. Don't worry about the hundred people. There's two people who like it. Mm. Go with those two people. Guess there what? Those two people are gonna make other two people love what you're doing. Right. Yeah. You feel me? So, mm. so but the brand about the, about the stay hot. Yeah, I do wanna because everybody can see themselves about that. It's not only me. Mm -hmm. You can see yourself through it. Right. You know, stay hot. You wake up. And you know, I'm be me. You know, I'm. A, yeah, it's a tough time. You know, I'm stressed. Yeah, da da da. I can't. Yeah, I can't. This 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 this. You know, let me be myself. Don't try to be nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Use perfect to who you are. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But that, that I feel like that's a mistake about like social media, people copying other people's stuff right. like this and that. You see people like at your A's got millions, you got one dollars. Now you're like, I, I, Switch up I, a little I, bit. you know, I'm not making it. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's not a, it's not a race. You know, you live mm -hmm. your own life. Someone live their own. You know, mm -hmm. you see someone got hell of a lot of money or whatever, they, whatever it is. Be happy for them. Right. You know, be happy. Be like, mm -hmm. bro, you got this. You know, I'm happy for you. Guess what? It's gonna be your turn. Cause whatever you give out, that's what you get back. Yeah. People don't know that. So mm. about this, the stay hot t-shirt and yeah. hoodies and yeah. all those <laughs> is things. It, is it happening already or? It's not happening already, but it's it's on the process happening. Right. Cause you know me being here and you know talking to you guys and yeah. you know Tyler about mm -hmm. this whole thing. Now I feel like we can make some happen for sure. One hundred percent. I and, the way I see it is like if in the future you could be like an entrepreneur at this point, like. Uh, you hype me up, man. No, I, 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 I no, I, because he's hyping me up. Yeah, I'm telling you, I, I no. mean, you ah. don't. The, you, it's, it is a, and now, so, and so, let, let's let's rewind the clock. So when I said it to you earlier, mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't even know the message. I just knew it was a nice name. You're right. Now that I know the That's message behind oh, it, right. 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 so you just like it based on the name. The name, yeah. and now you fell in love with it Maybe because of the, the message story behind to it, right? Yes. Right. Right. Thank so you. So that's what right. we talk about. So I mean, I, I it's. It really is something that like, it's it, it's a it's a message that's to the point. You it, stay hot, keep doing what you're doing. Right. Oh, it's not going the great. Stay hot, keep doing right. what you're doing. Why am I having to stay hot? Keep doing what you're doing. It's the I like I just thought it was a nice name, but you also yeah, let yeah, me yeah. know that. That's no, what I'm yeah. saying. No, like, it's, to it's, me, the way I see it in the future, years from now, whenever like I could see you like talking to kindergartners mm -hmm. or like you know yeah. Because yeah, everyone, everyone deals, regardless of how popular or famous you are, everyone deals with like hardships, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, that, that message, like when you wake up, you're like, stay hot. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, really, I love it. I think, no, I think I it's definitely, brilliant. I definitely came up with that. Uh, and when I was coming up with that, you know, it was just like a tough time. Like, like not like crazy stuff, but it's just like life in general, you know, life, like, yeah. a, like, a, like a mental, like, like now, you know, when you, when you wake up sometime or you going through stuff, it can be small to people. It can be big to some people. And you look at the self, you look at yourself in the mirror and be like, "Like I gotta figure it out." And you're like, mm. "You know what? Stay hot, man. There just you be go. yourself. You know, just just keep doing what you're doing, man. You know, you got so much, you got all the way here. Just keep on going. Mm -hmm. So, because because now the thing about it is just like you're in a situation like now you don't know. You might, you know, for me, for me, it's just like I'm, I'm, you know, I met you guys today. Right. I'm just like this. You yeah. Know? Like straight up. Yeah. But for me, it's just like, I don't, like sometimes I don't take things like super big. You know what I'm saying? So, but let's say like people who's by home, where, where they my suit when I was by home, looking at me right now, mm. you know? Mm. They're like, damn, he's in the US. Yeah. He's in college. Yeah. He play basketball and stuff. But 
six years ago, I was there looking at some other players who were here, and I and I see them like, like this this big. Mm -hmm. So it was just like that, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Sometimes you gotta appreciate like the work you put in to get where you're at, you know. Mm -hmm. Even though you want to get somewhere else, just know like you work yourself all the way here to get here. You gotta right. appreciate that. But sometimes I feel like I'm hard on myself, so I don't really like I don't I don't get satisfied that even though like when people tell me that I don't I'm like ah nah I still got more. Oh, I see anymore. what you mean. Yeah, I see yeah. what you, you mean. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's it's a it's a feeling of yeah I'm I'm appreciative what I have, but. I want more. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. More. What, what, what I want to get, I'm not. I feel like I'm not there yet. But the people who knows me, when they see me, they see me jump from here to here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's just like, it's like, oh, yeah. I, but uh, yeah, I'll keep going. So mm -hmm. when you feel me? It, so when and if would be the moment that you feel that you'd be like, all right, I made it. Would it be like NBA? Or nah, nah. It it's, like it's not. It's not. To, to be honest, it's not even about like like pros or anything like it's about my family to be right. honest okay like that's it if my if my like if i see like what my family want i do i do everything mm. like buy them houses mm. like everything i'm not even worried about myself mm. right like if i see my my family's like set for life have everything they need like just 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 people have mm. that's it like i'm i'm cool yeah right like i don't really like I can I can have me you know a smooth car. I'm I'm chilling. But if I see my, it's all about my family. To mm -hmm. be honest, yeah, mm -hmm. it's all about my family because I see like you know I've been to a lot of places now compared to places I'm from. Right. It's not like crazy crazy, but it's just like oh, I want them to have this. I want my mom, my dad, or my brothers, sisters to be just like have this. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, it, it's not gonna snap this mm -hmm. and happen. Overnight, so that's the thing I'm talking about when it's come to satisfy. Mm. But if that happened, oh, I'm gonna take a vacation and <laughs> keep cool. <laughs> there you go. Talk to it. That's Chilling. Cool. Uh -huh. I'm serious, like for real. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, yeah, people say you gotta build up, yeah, this and that. But for me, it's all about family. And, and I feel like if I do that and just like the same way I'm thinking about it, it's gonna happen because it's everything goes towards my family. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, I mean, clearly, you know, family is everything for you. Um, so going back to Senegal, I just want to know, I love food. I love food. Oh, <laughs> you don't, hold on. You're the type of guy who be eating them, them Jamaican food, right? The yeah, oxtails and stuff? Yeah, I, I, like, I like food. Thank I'll you. eat anything. Okay, so when I when I head back, like, let's say, you know, I go to Senegal. What's a, what's a meal from where, you're, from where you're from that I would have to eat? Uh, definitely jollof rice. Jollof what is that? rice, jollof rice. You know jollof rice. You mm -hmm. never heard about mm -hmm. it. It's like a, it's that? like a, it's it's a rice, but like you know fried rice. But it's like yeah. this. It's, uh -huh. it's different way of the, of of cooking. Okay, uh -huh. like the way we cook it over there is different, yeah. and the flavor is different. But it's it's like rice. Is it spicy? You can yeah. make it spicy. It depends. Yeah, people yeah. can make it spicy. Mm. So, but we got a lot of dish. So, if you go online, you are gonna see like we got a lot of dish. But uh, jollof rice mm -hmm. is the main like main you know, non national mm -hmm. like dish people eat there like at least three times a week okay. mm -hmm. for sure so and um so i gotta ask you when you came to united states what was that meal that you had that was like i love this uh, a lot yeah in the u.s or mm. in the in the, in the US. u.s yeah when you went to the u.s what was that meal that you had that was like mm, this no is when i first got here uh i remember when i when i was at the airport the guy who picked me up he bought me uh some burgers Okay. I was so hungry. I was enjoying it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this burger is nice. Hey, hey. Yeah. So I ate it for like a couple of days, but I started getting tired of it. Yeah. And now I jump and start eating like some Popeye chicken. There you go. It was so good. Like Talk crispy. To me. I'm like, <laughs> Talk to me. The Talk US food me. is fire, you know? Uh -huh. So, you know, you. Cause you, you like you never been and you may eat McDonald's. You eat McDonald's, mm. you feel it's good. You know all like those these kind of fast food places. Yeah. You you you, you like you ate, you ate it and you are like oh it's good I love it. Mm -hmm. But month goes by you like you start missing back home food. Right. Like the yeah. way like your mom wake up every day and just cook it starts mm -hmm. going at it. Yeah. Like you know lunch, fresh fresh food you ate you 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 eat it so mm -hmm. so I kind of miss that for sure at home so that's why like sometimes like. When I go back to New York, yeah, like you can eat a lot of Senegalese food because there's like, there's like a lot of Senegalese people mm, in okay. New York. So, okay, so for sure. But but yeah, I really enjoy like those food when I first got here. But over time, 
Like I'm like, yeah, but I gotta go back. You gotta to go my, back home. Yeah, it, old, hits old, hit, it hits a different hit. It hits a different spot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if we got into this question and we can close it out after that. But what what would you say is like the best way to describe your game, like as a basketball player? Like, are you more as a basketball like, player? I'm more of a like to be honest. Uh, I really like to help my team, like when it's come to defense and just like you know, like do what I need to do to help the team win games. Obviously, for sure. Like go on the glass, rebounding a lot. So mm -hmm. those two, like, it's it's one of the main thing for sure. Right. And so I just like, win. <laughs> yeah, not nah, yeah, just energy. win, but like energy, energy. Yeah. You know, play defense because defense win games. You know, yeah. go to the glass, rebound every time. But obviously, also score too. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not like keeping yeah. keep morale up. Like yeah. if y'all are down so, by ten yeah, or yeah. something. That's, yeah. how I, that's how I. That's how I kind of yeah. describe my game. But at the same time, over time, go like you trying to you know keep working on to get better at certain aspect, you know? Because mm -hmm. you don't want to just like, trying to do everything at the same time, all this, to, you're trying to do, like you don't want to do like your weakness oh. and, and, and leave the, the thing you're good at. Right. You know? So, so, but while I'm doing the thing I'm really good at, I'm still working on my weaknesses there too. There you go. Yeah, and yeah. I myself get better too, mm -hmm. so. Cool. Well, Lahat, I really, really appreciate your time with Influxer. I hope this experience in your weekend just keeps growing and going. And um, y'all remember. Stay hot. Stay hot. <laughs> I was really hoping you were doing it too. Appreciate you.